Hi, dudes. What's going on? You want to know how to get 200% crit chance for your mega crit? Or you're wondering why you need it in the first place? Well, this is the video for it. Anyways, let's get into it. Critical strikes are like the secret sauce, the cherry on top, the big number equal big happy move on taking your enemies down. Even the toughest enemies in the game, including those pesky crystal bobs. It's like bringing a bazooka to a knife fight. Without critical strikes, you'll be chipping away at their health for what feels like an eternity. But with critical strikes, you'll be dealing massive damage and taking them down with one fell swoop. And that, itty bitty army, is where mega crit comes in. In case you're wondering how mega crit works, let me break it down for you. At level 100, Mega crit will give you 10% crit chance and a whopping 400% crit damage. In order to get mega crit, if you have a 101% crit chance, that means you'll crit 100% of the time, you'll have a 1% chance to mega crit. So, if we want to mega crit all the time, that means we have to end up getting a total of 200% crit chance. And that's where the real fun begins. You can find mega crit in the party dungeon at the Flurbo shop. So let's help you start building up your crit chance. But where do we start? Well, let's begin with minor buffs. These are buffs that might seem a little bit small but end up compounding a lot in the long run. There's an achievement called Dungeon Wallop that will give you 4% crit chance for all your characters. And the Flambeige card that can award you up to 7% crit chance. And it is passive. And for you guys that don't know what passive means, it just means you don't have to equip it while receiving the bonus. In post office, there's a box known as the Civil War box, which will give you base damage, AFK gains percent, and crit chance. You invest 400 boxes into this, it will give you 6% crit chance. In alchemy, the Quick Cauldron, or the Green Cauldron, there's a bubble known as Cheap Shot, which will give you a minor boost to critical chance. But it's not 100% worth it. Even though you still want to level it up, just letting you know I have my bubble about 127 and I get barely 4% from it. But every little bit counts. There's a star sign known as Fallen Titan, which will give you 4% crit chance. And if you manage to have the star sign doubler, it'll turn that to a beautiful 8%. Other buffs to help break the threshold, even though you're not relying on them, is the Frozen Tart keychains, which can give you up to 3% crit chance on both slots. So you can end up with two keychains ending up at 12% crit chance. And if you're an absolute fishing minigame god, the Megalodon Trophy, which gives you 9% crit chance. And also, if you're running the Trophy Doubler, it will change that to 18% crit. Of course, there's also the cards and the Trunculus from Efont that also increases crit chance. But I mean, those ones doesn't really matter. Play not worth it. You're going to end up not using them anyways. Now, what about major buffs? These buffs are going to make up the bulk of your crit chance. And also keep in mind that classes like Mage and Archer receive significant crit chance increases. For example, the Mage Talent Foresight at level 100 will give you 12% crit chance. And the Archer Talent ICU will give you 18% crit chance at 100. So some classes have more of an advantage than others. Now, here comes the big juice. The Hyperion Nebula card set when equipped, will give you a percentage of crit chance, and if you have this at 4-star rank, it will give you 30% crit chance. The Beholder Statue, which can be farmed from World 1, World 2, or World 3 Crystal Mobs, can give you massive crit percent. Currently, at level 160, it is rewarding me with 32% crit chance, which is even bigger than a Hyperion Nebula card set. In World 4, cook a meal called Much will give you increased crit percent chance, and if you own the Black Diamond Rhinestone in the lab, it will increase the meal effect, and at level 24, it currently gives me 30% crit chance. Additionally, there is a prayer from Tower Defense after completing Wave 71 of Acorn Assault called Circular Criticals. It gives you crit chance, but it also curses you and reduces crit damage. Although some people don't recommend this due to the trade-off, I say screw it. All characters 200% are bust, so leveling this up to level 11 will give you about 20% crit chance. And finally, our biggest crit chance buff of all, Over Accurate Crit. The Over Accurate Crit book is located in the VIP membership library. And if you haven't watched that, I have a video about how to get to level 220. This book takes the amount of accuracy it takes from a mob. And if you overflow accuracy, the rest of it will go into crit rate. Right now, I have it at about a level 197, which gives me 5.9% crit chance to the power of 10. And at 9.25 million accuracy, I'm getting a whopping 41.1% crit chance. This is the biggest buff buff that you can possibly get when it comes to crit chance. And the best part is, is it will keep on scaling over time. So why do you want all this crit chance? Well, crystal mob spawns have really high health pools. Not only that, if you're running a prayer like Midas, which gives you more drop rate, or Jawbreaker, which gives you more money percent, or Big Brain Time, which gives you more XP, the curse is it increases the mob's max health. So in order to run these prayers efficiently, you're going to need way more damage, and Mega Crit makes that a ton 
load easier. So now we've covered all that. Let's let's do the math here. For archers who have a base crit of 51% with minor buffs and mega crit, adding all the major buffs listed, it will give you a grand total of 208% crit chance. And you have enough leeway to take some stuff out if you so choose. Now for mages who have a base crit of 45% with minor buffs and mega crit attached, we add in all the major buffs and it will give you a grand total 198.1%. And I know what you might be thinking. Wait, that doesn't equal up to 200%. And you're right, but we are calculating for one thing. Agility. Agility not only increases movement speed or accuracy for mages, but it also gives you small amounts of crit chance. And with enough agility on any character, you can honestly make up the difference in crit chance. Don't believe me? Well, I'll tell you this. My elemental sorcerer right now is not running Hyperion card set or running the star sign Fallen Titan, and I'm still over my 200% crit cap. So yep, it is totally possible. Now this is more of a later game thing, but the goal for crit chance is to slowly take out the crit chance buffs while maintaining 200% to end up switching them for something else. Like for instance, if you're running Hyperion Nebula, you're gonna eventually wanna to convert to bosses and nightmares. Or the Fallen Titan Star Talent, you're gonna eventually wanna switch it to Mount Eaterus, but only if you can maintain over 200% crit chance. You can level up Circular Criticals Prayer more if you need to make up the deficit. A lot of people say don't do it, but you know what? I say it's worth it. So there you go, my dudes, a mega crit guide. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it gave you another goal on your Eidolon adventures. But anyways, my dudes, I gotta get back to the guide grind. Stay safe. Happy grinding, and peace out.